Hi, welcome to Floyd Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Airfix's brand new tool, 148 scale Hawker Hunter. This is the F6 version. Now, to be honest, for years we just had the Academy one, and the Academy one wasn't bad, but really was showing its, its, its age a little bit. It's a little bit bland in some areas, but still a fantastic kit. So, in some ways, I think it came as a little bit of a surprise but not a total surprise when Airfix announced that they were coming out with a 148 scale version of the Hunter as well, this sort of iconic aircraft as we can see. So having a look around on the box, we can see a beautiful box art, as always, by FX. Got one in flight just going out there. Three decal options, as we see down in there. We'll talk about that in a moment. Some of the little details down in here. So it does look like we've got all the, the nice bits you would expect down on here. Quick run round on the box. So your kit number for this one is A09185. And then usual things down on here. So as we can see down in here, we've got number 63 squadron. Uh, which is uh, Water Beach, England, uh, September 1958. Uh, it's the Commander's Aircraft uh, with the special markings, i.e. with the yellow flash on the tail, as we can see down in here. Then we've got number four squadron, uh, which is the training squadron down in Aria Valley. And then we've got this little guy, which we'll talk about in a moment down in here, which is number uh, 324 squadron, uh, the Royal Netherlands Air Force, okay, in 1964 as well. And the reason we'll talk about that in a moment. So I honestly have not been in here, as you can see, we are all still sealed up down at the back. So if we can get in. We'll be fine. Double sticky labels this time. Okay. So, there we have it. So, okay, that's it there. Usual thing one bag, one decals, one instructions. Okay, so if we start just down in the instructions first, let's have the decals and the colour sheet out of the way. Two colour sheets for both units. Okay, so if we have our usual whip around the instructions, just down in here. Okay, so, usual thing with Airfix, this new way of laying them out. If you haven't seen it before, it's a lot easier to follow through uh, on the actual drawings as we do. So, usual thing, we've got some seats, we've got different options if you're going to go with uh, seat belts or with not, i.e. with a pilot figure or not, right the way through. Usual thing on the tub, we've got decals for the instrument panel fitting all of those parts in there just like that. Then it's a case of putting the tub in. We have got some holes to open up, one mil holes uh, to put through as well. So we need to open those up going right the way through. And then we've got some various uh, covers, inlet things, things like those being fitted down into there. First stage compressor fan area being fitted down in there. And then obviously we've got a bulkhead to the front and I assume that's a nose wheel area down in there. Then the actual air intakes, a lot been spoken about these online. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like in a moment. Those being fitted down into and then obviously sticking out the sides. Exactly the same repeat on the other side. Nice little bit of detail. We've got some oxygen bottles down being fitted down in the front. And then obviously the other air intake on the other side. If you're having the stand fitted, uh, which is optional extra, you need to make up the holes for that one now. And again, down in here, uh, when building the B scheme, you need to fill in the actual gun ports. Because it's a training squadron, it doesn't actually have the guns uh, underneath. Okay, So you need to fill those in just like that. 20 grams of nose weight apparently is all you need down in there and obviously you're gonna to have to put it in behind the actual cockpit area purely because there is no room in the front because you've got this sort of radar uh, equipment area at the front down in there. Tailpipe system being fitted down in there and then obviously we've got air after tail system being dropped in there. Again, the worrying part is dropping this top in here. I am led to believe by everybody who's built this so far, that is not as bad as it looks. Actually, it's a very nice fit with minimal amounts of filler, maybe just a step or two on this join here. Okay, but the rear end apparently fits in lovely and so does the undersides. Speaking of which, obviously then you can see the undersides of the wings are two part right the way through, depending if you're having up and down, depending if you're gonna fit the doors to the inside or not. Wheel wells going in, actually some very nice details in those I have to say haven't seen one of these and then obviously putting in the undersides of the wings all in there one point to make out and it is the one thing that everybody's mentioned about it and uh, it, it is shouting out there is no detail on the insides here of the actual underside of the flap area and anybody who knows a hunter and knows they tend to go around with them all day long with them down uh, when they're on the ground so consequently it's quite a noticeable part so a little bit of a misstep there uh, we've got uh, deflections uh, quite nicely done for the actual uh, tailplanes and for the rudder as well, so you can put those in. And then we have got separate flaps and slats uh, down, uh, sorry, ailerons uh, and flaps being fitted down in there uh, for the actual uh, 
trailing edges again nice 13 degrees showing the actual pitch movements right the way through on all of those gear being fitted down in there gear actuators things like that some more little uh, bulkheads being fitted in right the way through on this one okay then door outer door areas covers things like that being fitted down there nice little diagram showing how those should line up separate hub and tires okay being fitted down on those being popped on there and then obviously nose wheel and the actual uh, gun uh, bulges i suppose they are underneath being fitted into those as well okay and then rear down here we've got the actual speed brake being fitted and then fuel tanks going on canopy obviously open or closed whichever way you want to go through and separate quarter areas for the actual lights so it might be worth painting masking and then blending those in depending on how well they fit stencil data as you can see is extensive not as bad quite as in phantom land but there's plenty going down on there for options a or b with it okay so that's really your, your two ones or option down at the back okay Again, doesn't look too bad. And I have to say, I do know uh, a couple that are being built currently, obviously on the Floyd Models uh, forum. It looks fantastic, very, very nice indeed. So, markings wise, you are greeted by FX's standard big color call-ups, which are quite handy because you can use these as templates as well. So down in here, this is 63 Squadron uh, Commander's one with that beautiful tail on there, just like that. Okay, on the other side, we do have number four squadron, for the training squadron down in there as well. So that's quite nice as well. My personal favorite, and to be honest, I am gonna be building this as part of a live video stream with the rest of the team on Wednesday nights from this Wednesday onwards. And if you're wondering when that is, it's the 22nd of uh, January, 2019. Uh, I'm gonna be building this one live during the evening live shows. So um, something very nice with that one down in there. We were all picking different markings, so it'd be interesting to see how, uh, I think there's about eight of us gonna be building this one, um, how it goes together and what differences we find. Decals, which are interesting to me because most of the other guys going down the aftermarket route, but we've got your standard sort of common ones all at the top. They look very nice. Minimum carrier film to all of those, catching the light going across it. Good solid color as well down here with the roundels. And then we've got this checker uh, pattern. Obviously you'll do yellow as your base color. And then this makes up the actual yellow and black checker. Markings broken up as you might imagine. And then down in here as well, we've got those Netherlands, sort of the Dutch markings down in there. Very nice, as always. So they actually look very good. So into the bag. If it still don't listen to anyone when they say about don't put it in one giant bag. So let's have this out of the way. Okay, so big clear spruce. So we'll start over here. As you can see, looking very nice now i've come to expect a certain amount with airfix um i'm not expecting too much and again i'm a little bit laid down because of the lack of sort of riveting on this one and things like that again it's all the panel lines are here but there is no riveting it'd be nice if they could sort of switch that out and get that riveting down in there but generally all of the the molding looks quite nice it is that harder plastic it's not as good as perhaps some of them but it's definitely on the right track okay so Moving around on the close-up, you can see we've got these difference of tailpipes. You've got the straight edge one or the fared one at the rear. Okay, down in there for different versions. Fuselage halves, as you can see, all the panel lines are on here. They're all looking pretty good and crisp. No problems. For once, it looks like I don't have a mismold on mine. Okay, and then obviously we've got this, the flaps, compression blades, and intakes and nozzle. And if we flip over, we can see we're pretty okay. We've got no ejector pins inside the rear nozzles, and we've got no ejector pins. Yes, we have scrapped that. We've got one very faint ejector pin just here at each end of the intake. But let's face it, you're never going to see that far in, so that doesn't look too bad at all. Internal details, we do have some little bits down in here. But again, the ejector pin is tucked out of the way. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Actually, that looks like a very nice sprue indeed. The one thing I am noticing, there's minimal bearing as well on it. There's hardly any seam between the two halves of the mould. So that's quite nice. Generally, good thumbs up there. Okay. Then if we come along to the, the wing section down in here, as you can see, again, very nice. Moving over on the close-up straight away, you can see we've got the access panels all the various things down in there for those under the wing areas. We've got the fuel tanks and we have got some rocket pods obviously for other markings. Top of that wing section, again, doesn't look too bad at all. And actually seeing this one in the flesh recently, pretty much a good job on that one. 
no problem there. My one bugbear is, again, we have no detail in here. And there's usually lots of detail in here. Got beautiful detail down in here and these wheel wells. And that really is very, very nice stuff, but nothing in there. And that's actually a real shame. It's a little bit of a shame about that. And then obviously, you know, the actual flaps as well. There's no detail on those. And yet there's a ton on the real thing. Okay, so down into the actual smaller parts, as you can see, we've got lots of stuff going down on here. So up here, this is the difference in the seats, okay, with the harnesses or without, and then moving around, you can probably see we've got some very nice details. The cockpit doesn't look too bad at all, the tub, very nice indeed. Sides of the seats, the wheels, actually are weighted wheels as well. Got a little divot there for the hub. With the nose, all the areas down in here, this front section doesn't look too bad at all. And working our way up the other side got the oxygen bottles there all the parts looking very nice i have to say one thing that sort of feels slightly weird it feels very solid the plastic feels very solid it feels solid on the sprue uh, and everything else all the sprue gates look quite small there's some really nice touches down in here just like this one here with all the wiring down in and everything else so some areas are like hyper detailed Others, they haven't bothered with, so it's a little bit of a, a shame. Instrument panel down in here it is all raised. Obviously, there is a uh, an option, if you wanted to, to go in there with a, uh, the uh, decals. Might be an option to hold out and wait for a Color Photo H1 in there. But then again, this era, it's all black inside. It's very cramped. You're not going to see much down in there. But general highlights are, again, the hub down in here for the brakes. Looks very, very nice indeed on both sides of it. Okay, so last up we've got the clear box. And yeah, no, that's actually really very nice indeed. Good edging onto it, no problem. So you've got the closed one, all in one, molded in one. It's a little bit distortion, but actually it's pretty clear. Front one you can see, no real distortion on that. Actually, okay. These wingtip ones we've seen, there's the tiny little bit of the light, that's the rest of the wing. So it's probably best to paint this, let it dry, mask it, and then add it to the wing, and then just unmask it when you're completely finished off and you've got the smaller version down here as well, depending on which one you're doing. And one for the nose light, if you're doing nose and your landing light. Very nice indeed. So I have to say, it, it's a winner to me. I can't find any faults. And to be honest, as I said before, this is my kit. I am going to be building it actually tomorrow night. I'm doing this on Tuesday, starting then this over the next few weeks, putting it together. Speaking to a lot of guys who are already starting on this, especially on the Flory Models Forum, they're all reporting it's a great kit. Minimal sort of little bit up here, perhaps, uh, with that top wing section going down on there. But generally, it seems to be falling together with no problems at all. And that's a really nice touch. It is available, as always, through the actual PM store as well. So if you want to get yourself a little bit of a discount in there, as always, you can pick up a bargain in there. So there we go. That's Airfix's new 148 scale Hawker Hunter.